Yom Tov, everyone. I want to welcome us to today's class, the Biblical Hebrew class. Uh, as a follow-up to some of the topics we've learned, uh, I want to give us some vocabularies today to, as a build up to what we've been taught. Because having enough vocabularies will help in facilitating everything you have learned. And that's what we are trying to do today. I'll give you about 30 vocabs or vocabularies to add to the number of vocabularies you have in helping you to read and study and make sentences. So I want to welcome you today. Let's go to the class to learn together. I want to welcome you to class. Uh, today, I want to give us some more vocabularies as a build up to what we've learned. For, for, because vocabulary itself is the foundation of learning any language. So I want to achieve at least about 100 vocabularies for the space of what we've been taught. So let's start from here. The first thing we have here is mihod. Me hold the dalesh, you have a tail. Yeah. Me hold, which means exceedingly or very. Exceedingly or very. Me hold. Behold. Then we have ine. Ine. Ine, which is low or behold. Low or behold. Low or behold. Ine. Then we have shama, shama, shama. The third one, the tough vocab here is shama, which means he had, he hackened, or he obeyed. You know, the foundation, the root word is always he. If you now want to say she had, they had, you can, it will be changed. But it is shamar, he heard, or he hackened, or he obeyed. Then the next one, shem. Shem, which is name, Shem. Okay, Am, uh, Shem, Am, and Japhet. The name, uh, the name, uh, Shem. Shem means the word Shem means name. Then you have Eta, Eta. This is the masculine word for one, 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 Eta. But the the feminine of it is Ata. Ata, Ata, which is the one for feminine. Then you have covenant, covenant, which is berit, berit, berit is covenant, berit, covenant. Then the next one is is alom, 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 which is dream, alom, dream. Then the next vocab is nahar, nahar, which is river. Naar river. Naar river. It's followed by ar, ar, har, which is mountain. Har, mountain. Har, mountain. Then the next one is Mitzrayim. 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 Mitz. Raim, which is Egypt. Mitzrayim, Egypt. Mitzrayim, something like it's very similar to Yisrael, which is history. But this one is Mitzrayim, Egypt. Then, giving some names now, some nouns. Mitzrayim, which is Egypt. Then, Ya'akob. 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 We stand for Jacob. Jacob. Hebrew does not have the letter J. What most of the time stands in for J is the letter Yod. Then we have Jacob, which is, G, which is Jacob. The next one is Esau. Esau. Esau, which is Esau. Esau, Esau. Esau, Esau. 
And then next you have Shelomo. Shelomo, which is Solomon. Shelomo, Solomon. Shelomo, Solomon. The next is Abraham. Abraham. Now, the calling of the simple Shua here is silent because it follows a short vowel patar. So you have Hab, Rahim. Ab simply means father. Rahim, making it nation, making it plural. Abraham. Ab, 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 no, Abraham. Abraham, sorry. Abraham. Abraham, making it the father of nations. Abraham. The next one is Sarah. 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 Which is Sarah in English. Sarah in English. The living the nouns now, we have Ikot, which is Karat. Karat, Ikot. Now, in the matter of Berit, which is covenant, you don't make covenant, you cut covenant. In Hebrew language, you cut covenant. So, this is a Karat Berit. He cut covenant. Bara, uh, 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 Karat Berit. But this one is Karat, which is he cut. Then spy, 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 Miragel, Miragel, spy, Miragel, spy, Miragel, spy. Then Leeb, bread, Leeb, bread. Which summer is also stand for food? Le eb. I mean, le em. I'm sorry, le em. Le em bread. Like you have Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you know. You have le eb. Um, Bethlehem, I'm sorry. Like you have Bethlehem, the house of bread. Bethlehem, the house of bread. Le em is bread. Le M, bread. You have final name here. Le Eb. Le Eb, which is bread. Then next you have Derek. Derek, which means way or part. Derek, way or part. Now you have an author that is called Derek Prime. Derek Prime. Derek means way or part. Next you have Shamar. No, Mashar. Mashal, Mashal, he ruled. Mashal, he ruled. We've had some officers on the road we call Mashal. Of our FRSC, the Road Safety Commission, we have call the Mashal. The, the man, meaning of Mashal is he ruled. Mashal, he ruled. From there also we get something like Moshe, which is Moses. Moses, Mashal, he ruled. Then we have Ba'ar. Ba'ar, he chose. Ba'ar, he chose. Ba'ar, he chose. Verbs are always, most of the time, in past tense, complete sentence, past tense, something that is completed, action that is completed, like Iru, Shama, uh, he chose. Ba'ar, Ba'ar. Then we have next, salvation. 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 What is salvation? Is um Jeshua. Jeshua. Salvation or deliverance. Jeshua. That is the name of Jesus. Jeshua. Or the name of Joshua. It's like Jesus and Joshua are the Greek, come from the Greek interpretation and to English. But the name of Joshua or Jesus is Jeshua. Jeshua. Jo Joshua is Hebrew. Jesus is English. Jeshua is Hebrew. And Jeshua is the word for either Joshua or Jesus, which means salvation or deliverance. Then we have Jira. 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 We have Jira. Yeah. Jira. 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 Which means fear. Or reference, you are fear or reference. Then we have Beraka, 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 Beraka means blessing. Beraka means blessings. Like Barakat, Barakat in 
in uh, Arabic language. It means blessing. Barakan Hebrew language, uh, Arabic language also means blessing. So, and you know they are cognate. They are in the same school of, of, of language. You know, then you have palace or languages. You have palace, which is, you mean, I mean, you have place, which is ba, which is makom, makom, place, makom, 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 starting with mem, then final mem, makom, place. Then you have ko, you have ko, which is doth, ko, which is doth, doth, ko. Then you have it, you have ain, I'm sorry, ain, which is there is not. Ain, there is not. Ain, there is not. Then you have add. Add, which means until. Add, which means until. Then you have shamar. Shamar, he kept, he watched over. He kept, he watched over. He kept, it's different from shamar, which is the rule. You know, it's different from mashal, which is the rule. So shamar, there's another shamar which has to do with to obey. <laughs> but you discover that this shamar, shamar, ended with ayin, which is hard, a akin obey. But shamar is he kept, which ended with resh. He kept and he watched over. Let me go over once more. Mihud, exed, mihud exceedingly, or very. Ine is low or behold. Sha, sh, shamar is he had, he akin or he obeyed. Shem is name. A art is one in a masculine. Then a, a, a art is one. A art is one feminine. Then covenant is buried. Buried. Alom is dream. Naar is river. Har is mountain. Mishrahim is Egypt. Yaakob is Jacob. Is a sow is Esau, a sow is Esau. Shalom is Sol Sh Shalomo. Shalomo is Solomon, which has to do with Shalom, peace. Shalomolomo is Solomon. Then Abraham, Abraham is Abraham. Sarah is Sarah. Karat is a court. Mir Miragel, Miragel, Miragel is spy. Leeb. Le M, I'm sorry, is bread. The wreck is part or way. Shama, ma mashal is a rule. Mashal is a rule. Then Baar is a choose. Yeshua is salvation or deliverance. Yira is fear or reference. Berakat is blessing. Makom is place. Ko is dust. Ain is there is not. Then Al is until. Shamar is he kept or he washed over. God bless you. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing that you've added more words into your vocabularies. And now that you find it easier to read and to also speak to some extent, the Hebrew language, at least the biblical Hebrew, and you can work on your studies and your and whatsoever you need to do. Because you have learned this vocabulary, it will also help you in every way in growing in your study of the biblical Hebrew language. So I want to congratulate you and I also want to 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 plead with you to continue to study you may need to have a card where you write some of these vocabularies so that you can be able to memorize easily so that you don't forget. One of the principles of learning Hebrew language is you exercising, going over and over to study and stay fresh so that you don't easily forget. So I really appreciate you. Shalom. Shalom.